Good morning, good morning, good morning, Soul Squad. It's a beautiful Monday, 8 a.m. morning here in Washington, D.C., and I am loving it. Um, weekend was tough. Every weekend is not going to be a great weekend. My weekend was tough. And obviously, I say it was tough, not tough in a bad way. Tough in a hard way, tough in a working way, tough in doing everything that I need to do that I'm supposed to do, you know, to 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 build myself up as far as my work and and what I do. Everybody don't work on a Sunday. Everybody don't work on a weekend. I might get most of my job done on a weekend. The majority of my work starts Saturday and Sunday. I work all week long, but the hardest part of my work come in on Saturdays and Sundays, and so um. I, it, it was good. I was tired. I was worn out. My knees were hurting. I was like, oh my goodness. But guess what? I made it through. Because guess what? Today is Monday. Now, before we get started on anything like we do always here on this channel, if you didn't do it yesterday, none this week, if you haven't done all month, guys, please, let's thank God for waking us up and spending another day with our family and friends because that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. Excuse me, can I get an amen? Amen. Okay, I do morning thoughts because it's me. It's what I do. I do this every other day or every day or even in the afternoon. It depends on when I feel like coming out here. But most of the majority of the time, it is typically in the morning because I want to beat that sun. I don't want to um, be sitting out here when it's all hot and gloomy. And we've been having some good fair weather in dc um these last couple of days um it was it was good enough when i was able to use my oven to cook a good um sunday dinner without sweating or being hot in the kitchen and you know it, I, I i thank god for that it was great uh because normally i told you guys i'd be so hot but i wanted to give you guys another part of me that um that i read every morning um, I've been slacking on my reading, but I do, I, I, I get it in when I remember it throughout the day or if not in the morning throughout the day. And I get these, um, today's scriptures and, and today's prayers that I get from, um, Joel Osteen. And every time I get one and if I remember to read one or, um, look at it, bam. Is telling me about myself right then and there. It's like it's just like when you go to church and you ain't been to church for a long time, and all of a sudden you go to church and that minister, that preacher, is up there saying everything he got to say. And why is it you're looking around and you automatically thinking this man is talking to me? God is talking to me. I needed this somehow in everything that we do. Unexpectedly, we'll hear something to say was meant for you. And um, I read the morning um, prayer and the morning scripture I got this morning. And it was so relatable. It was about listening and listening to others. And don't count anyone out just because you think they may not be on your level or, um, or whatever. Don't block your blessings by not listening. Listening is a, is 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 the best thing you could do for someone. It's the best thing you could do for someone. It's the best way you could be there for somebody. Um, sometimes people just need you to listen. So I'm um, I look. There's no guarantee. I'm gonna read one of these to you guys every morning because this is something really personal to me that I signed up for and I most definitely believe in. And um, I read these scriptures. And um, like I said, every time I do read them, I always feel like it's being directed towards me. But um, I'm going to read this one to you, to you guys. And it's called, Are You Listening? And this is from 2 Kings 5.3 NLT. And um, let me read this to you guys real good. It says, In 2 Kings 5, Naaman was the powerful commander of the Syrian army, but he had lupus, an incredible disease, an incurable disease. 
He had defeated the Israelites, but he wasn't able to defeat the disease that was taking his life. One of his wives made was a captured Israel girl. One day she told him about the prophet Elijah in Israel and the possibility of his healing. Neiman could have thought, who are you to tell me what to do? You're just a slave girl. You're telling me to go back to the nation I just defeated and asked for help? He could have dismissed her, but he listened. And ultimately, he received his healing. See, sometimes you, so sometimes you answer to needs and directions won't come from people you expect. Let me say this again. Sometimes your answers to needs and directions won't come from people you expect. Don't judge people God has put in your life by the outside, by position, by title, by wealth. Deciding who's important, who you're going to listen to, God uses everyone. Remember that. God uses everyone. I talked about that line that passed in front of you. You know, putting people in your life and you don't even know the reason why they're there. He uses everyone to send you on the road that he has for you. Treat everyone with respect. Value every person's opinion and you won't miss your miracle. And the thing is that I, I, I knew I had to read this to you guys because when I started doing morning thoughts didn't i tell you guys that um god set stepping stones for us he set things up even when we don't know it's being set up he set purpose he set people in position to do the things that he wants you to do to make you aware of the things that you need to do i really just said that and this was so funny that i read this this morning and i was like i gotta share this because we talked about and one of my morning thoughts how we talked about how um how i felt how things was being lined up for me how i felt like um god was positioning i'm um, stepping stones for me to go in this direction and he had people set up for me to listen to and things line up for me and it was just so funny i might not have said it in that way but when i was saying to you guys that's the way you know i told you guys and it's so funny that i get this particular um i get this particular um word for the day this particular scripture for the day and um it's so relatable to what I was talking about. And so if I don't share any of these with you anymore, I get these every morning. I get these every morning. And like I said, I do. Some days I might read them in the morning, afternoon, evening, when I remember because I get so many emails. But I do read them often. And every time, it's like I said, when you go to that church or you see somebody, it seems like, some, like somebody be talking about something else and it feels like it's coming directly to you. And yeah. And so I want to a prayer for today. Father, thank you for all. And you know, you, you guys, this is prayer for the day. Father, thank you for all the people you put in my life and how you use everyone to your purpose. Help me to be humble and not judge others by the outside of limits. Who I will listen to. Don't let my pride get in my way of your miracles in jesus name amen because i'm gonna tell you that thing called pride we carry that we carry it when we don't know we carry it people carry it so hard and they will let pride stop them from their blessings stop them from listening to someone you know you may be the ceo of a company this is the mail clerk so in your mind what did that mail clerk tell me why I gotta listen to you? Your 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 position is better as Lord than me. No, God said don't do that. Cause in doing that, you're blocking something that could be for you. Remember, He uses everyone, and everyone that He uses not 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 it's not done by who they are and what they do. 
You know what I'm saying? So everyone he uses is not it's not done like that. So you can't treat people like that because you'll be missing or missing out on something and something and it'll just be like gone. And you don't know if it's gonna come back again. So I just had to share that with you guys because it was just so funny for me to open this up this morning and to read this. And we talked about God setting paths. We talked about in one of my morning um thoughts that um how God set people and places up for you, you know, for you to see. Because we sometimes overlook what's right in front of us. We sometimes overlook what's right in front of us. And um, so, guys, try to listen more. It could be a child. Can tell you something because you're an adult. And you don't take value of that child. What that child had to say. God told that child to say whatever it was profound for her to say or him to say to you. Regardless of age, you know what I'm saying? Everyone is set up in your life for a reason. Everyone is set up in your life for a purpose. Follow those paths. Listen. It's easy to listen. It's so easy to listen to someone. Um, I talk to us, and I'm telling you, <laughs> I always talk to a Soul Squad member. Um, but you know, the mind is running overboard. I've been talking and, and, and to a Soul Squad member via email, and it's just been a beautiful thing. And I am so glad that God has bestowed upon me the, the, the um, I don't want to say the, because I like to listen. I listen. I listen to people. I'm so glad he gave that to me. The, you know, the listen to people. I'm not anxious. I'm not quick to brush anybody off. If someone want to ask me something, someone want me to listen to them, you know, I listen to you. Because I always, I need somebody to listen to me sometimes. I need somebody to listen to me sometimes. And it's been a pleasure to, um, to correspond with this person back and forth. And, um, and just don't, don't know how much joy that it's been bringing to me just to do that because I'm happy for that. And you know, like like he said, like I just got finished reading, everyone's positioning people lives for a reason, you know? So this is my morning thought. I thought this was just so ironic that I bring this to you guys this morning because it was just something that we had talked about, you know, and then I get this verse in the scripture this morning in my email and like i said i get them every morning about 6 30 a.m every morning do i choose to read them all the time at that time no guess what i read this one this morning why of all the ones that i get and i'll wait till midday evening afternoon knowing i'm about to go through more than the thoughts it, it was there and i said oh let me read this and it's just like get out of time for real and so i was like i gotta share this and that's another thing of things happening because someone out there today need to hear that listen to people regardless of their title, their position, their age. You made have miss something that was so important and you brushed it off because of pride or because you may think you're more important than them. So this, this, this right here was a setup. I'm telling you, I feel it because I have not been going to this every morning. I've been reading them like in the mid afternoons or at night and be like, oh, I forgot to look at my um the thing. My scripture came in today. And I read it. I have not been clicking on this in the morning. I clicked on this about 10 minutes before I came out here. And I said, oh, let me read this. And I read it and it struck me. And I said, wow, this is crazy. And I said, I had to share this. So I believe it was a setup by the man upstairs. Because somebody out there needed to hear this. You needed to know you're blocking your blessings in some type of way by not listening. Swallow your pride. Listen. Because it may not come around again. It may not come around again. I don't know. Y'all want to see some scenery?
Here's to show you guys this morning. But this is look how bright and beautiful it is outside today. It's look how bright and beautiful it is out here today. It's going to be a great morning. I tell you, I tell you. I'm out here right now and I feel like I need a jacket. But you know what? It's the brisk morning air. That's what we look for. This is what I like. Mm. Andrew gone to work. Josh gone to pick his family to work and take his daughter to summer camp. Yeah. It's a nice spring. I love spring. <laughs> nice summer morning, right? Now, I could agree with my son with a lot of things. My son tell me that my bill should go up in the evening time. But my morning thoughts, I'm put this up in the morning. So I think somebody need this when they wake up. You know what I'm saying? So morning thoughts were gonna be posted as soon as I get finished. Cause I don't wanna wait till five o'clock. I might be missing somebody. Somebody might need this as soon as they open their eyes up this morning. You know what I'm saying? So, morning thoughts will be up as soon as whenever I finish it. I'm not waiting till 5 o'clock to put up my morning thoughts because I could be missing somebody. Somebody could just be opening their eyes right now and they needed this. They needed this to listen to. They need to know to listen to somebody. Somebody out there trying to tell you something. And, um... It's not going up in the afternoon, regardless of analytics, regardless of any of that. I'm going to put my morning thoughts up. It's just a feeling that I have that it has to go up in the morning. You know, this is brightening somebody's day because it brightens minds. It brightens minds. Y'all got to excuse your girl. I am fresh up out the bed, okay? This is fresh up out the bed, hitting this porch, and just really, really thinking on some stuff like i said the weekend was rough but it's all about work and you know we don't work as hard as we do we work hard for ourselves if i said that right but i'm about to end this morning thoughts so i don't want to make it too long but basically i i you know i just had to say this and you know through everything i woke up this morning and that's a blessing in itself so guys be mindful and remember God put people in our lives for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So, again, rewind this. Listen to it again. He sets everyone up in our life for a reason. Now, with that being said, one of my fellow YouTubers' family is going through um, something right now. Uh, Beloved wife's son is in the hospital. I heard that. I saw the video uh, due to COVID. Um, somebody, people wanted me to speak on it, but it's not for me to say, but give you. I'm giving prayers out to them. It's not for me negative to say about nothing. It's not my place. Only thing I want to let them know is that I send prayers out to her, her family, and any other family who's dealing with this crisis, okay? Um, it could be hard. It's an unexpected thing that could happen, you know, because you never think, oh, it won't be me. But um, this thing has no nationality. This covert, it has no, it don't, it, it don't, it don't, it don't depict who it's going to give it to, who it's not going to give it to. And everyone just be safe. Be careful. Do whatever it is that your state is requiring you to do. You know, wear your mask, uh, wash your hands, and and pray to and pray for all the families who's hurting um, by this epidemic. You know, God will see us through this. And um, I pray every day for my family. My sons go to work. They take their kids to school come back home you know i say wash your hands as soon as andrew get off of work i'd be like ah he want to touch and kiss and hug no <laughs> i like that he do but um i said no go straight in the bathroom wash your hands take off your clothes and wash them and i do honestly that's exactly what i do 
So yeah. So my prayers go out to everyone who's dealing with this. Everyone hoping healing in your family, hoping for healing in your hearts, in your family. Just hoping for healing, period. Alright guys, I am out. Thank you for another good morning prayer. I hope this gets get to someone who needs it. Again, this ain't about analytics. This is about waking up. Hearing something that you might need to hear. But this is going up as soon as I finish. As soon as I finish. But at, with that being said, like, share, subscribe. Check out all my other platforms. Soulful Tea. Check out um, Soothing Sounds by Soulful Tea. And tell somebody about this right here. About my Monday morning prayers. Tell some good morning. He probably said, what the heck is she talking to? <laughs> he looked up at me. He heard me talking. <laughs> Tell them what we're doing over here on Sober Tea Vlogs. We're having a good time. And out of all the videos I put up, to me, this is my most important one. Because I, this is so intimate. I, I I never thought that I would share this with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I never thought that um I would share this. And you know, by saying that, quick, before we leave, someone left me a message. On one of my videos and she said honestly I was so skeptical about your blogs when you when you thought when you said that you was making a vlogging channel she said she was skeptical about it and she said oh no she loved it and I, and I, I you know she didn't say it in those words but she told me that she wasn't sure but she loves it and I said girl I was skeptical too. You know, it has been told for me for months to move to do this. And I was holding back. And see, there we go. And there it is. There it is again. I'm talking about listen. Listening. Just now. What did I just say to you? Somebody need to hear this. I need to hear this. Because I didn't listen. And you know why I didn't listen to my son two months ago? And because he was my son because I didn't think he knew what he was talking about you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're saying and I avoided it for the last two maybe three months to start this other channel I didn't listen, but guess what and I gotta take that back what I said when I say that you may miss it because I didn't listen then but God kept him persisting persisting at me he kept coming at me, kept coming at me until I gave in because I finally listened. God kept putting my son in front of me. If you don't listen to what he's telling you, listen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? I did that. I passed judgment because who he was. Oh my goodness. Wow. Mm. I just got that just now. Did anybody out there just get something just now? Because I just got that just now. Oh wow. And it was a setup. So I take that back when I said that if you miss it, it may not come back. It may not come back or it may come back 10 times fold. Because it came back 10 times folks with my son. Kept banging this in my head every time, every other week. And two, I said, okay, let's separate the channels. You must know what you're talking about. You've been doing your research. Let's do it. Mm. I didn't listen. But then I listened. He uses everyone. I'm going to stop this on that note. Like, share, subscribe. Hmm. Thumbs up this video. He uses everyone. Even the ones you that's even the ones that you don't expect. Wow. Have a good day, so squad.